Welcome back, everybody. My name is Pratesh here with Kaizen Crypto, bringing you another video. I hope you all are doing well in this video. It's all about Cardano native tokens. I'm going to show you how to send and receive native assets on the Cardano blockchain using the Daedalus wallet, as well as some really cool resources made by members in the community that can help you interact with the Cardano blockchain. Lots of cool things to talk about here in this video. Let's go ahead and jump right in. All right, everyone, so getting right into it, we're taking a look at the Daedalus wallet pulled up here on my computer. I am using the latest version of the Daedalus wallet. If you haven't already downloaded Daedalus, you can go ahead and check out the link down in the description below. Also, please make sure that you are only using the official link to download Daedalus onto your computer. After you've downloaded the application, you can use your wallet recovery phrase to restore your wallet into Daedalus. After you've done that, we can see the available ADA balance we have for our wallet. In this instance, in our Cardano tutorial wallet, we've got a little bit of ADA, as well as any tokens that we would have would be listed right under the ADA balance. So I've got some Kaizen tokens here in this wallet available, and you can tell what type of tokens you have in your wallet by hovering your cursor over the asset followed by the long string of numbers and letters. This is gonna show us a bit of metadata related to that specific token. In this instance for Kaizen tokens, it shows us the name, the description, a policy ID, as well as the asset name. Some of the tokens that you might find within Daedalus are gonna be either fungible tokens or non-fungible tokens. The difference really is that a fungible token is gonna to be treated equally to another token of like kind. In this instance, a Kaizen token in my wallet it's going to have the same value as any other Kaizen token. So the Kaizen tokens I have are going to be treated equally to the Kaizen tokens you would have. Very similar to ADA, any amount of ADA that I have, it's going to be treated equally to the same amount of ADA that you would have. This is going to be the complete opposite to a non-fungible token. A non-fungible token or an NFT is going to be completely unique to any other token. So taking a look back at the tokens we have available, let's say for instance, I wanted to send some Kaizen tokens to my token wallet. What we can do is first generate a receiving address in order to receive the tokens to that new wallet. In this case, I've got the token wallet pulled up on my computer. We can go ahead and click on receive up at the top. And this is gonna generate a list of all the available addresses we have to receive any type of ADA or Cardano native tokens. So I'll go ahead and click on share. This is gonna generate the address. I can go ahead and copy that, close out of this window. And then we'll have to go back to our Cardano tutorial wallet. And in order to send any type of native assets within the wallet, it's very simple. You would just wanna click on send next to that token, which you would like to send to your wallet. This is gonna prompt us to generate a transaction just like you would if you were sending ADA. So we'll go ahead and paste in our receiving address. We'll just go ahead and paste that in. And we can see here, it gives us this option to enter in the quantity of the amount of tokens which we'd like to send to this address. So it shows us here, we can verify, we've got our Kaizen tokens listed, which we would like to send to this wallet. I wanna send about five Kaizen tokens to this wallet. Now, in order to validate this transaction, a stake pool has to pick up this transaction and in order to send it through the network, we'll have to attach some type of ADA. In this instance, we can go ahead and send the minimum amount of ADA required to send along with a fungible token, which is about 1.4443. Now, the amount of ADA is going to vary just depending on how many tokens that you would like to send along with your transaction. And you can send more than one token in something called a token bundle. In order to do that, you would just click on add a token and it'll give you a list of the dropdowns of how many tokens you have, which you can send in a token bundle. So we've went ahead and chosen the quantity of tokens which we'd like to send to this transaction. We can see now we have the ability to send by clicking on the blue send button. It shows us our estimated fees in terms of ADA. So we'll go ahead and click on send. And then next it's gonna ask us to verify the transaction by typing in our spending password. After you've typed in your spending password, we can go ahead and click on the blue send button. And what we can see now is this transaction is pending. It'll show us here that this balance has been reflected in our wallet. The transaction has already settled crazy fast. It does show us that the balance has been reflected in our wallet, taking into account this transaction we just sent. And if we go over to our token wallet, we can see here that we've received some tokens. We can see the amount of ADA that was sent along with the transaction, as well as the tokens that were sent within that transaction. So we've got our Kaizen tokens that have popped up here. And that is essentially the entire process of being able to send tokens on Cardano. 
what I wanted to do next is I want to show you a really cool tool made by a member in the community that will allow you to interact and engage with some of these tokens that you would send on the Cardano blockchain. Let's go ahead and head over to the website called pool.pm. So a big thank you to Smog Stake Pool, who has brought us this really amazing tool. Pool.pm is a Cardano Explorer that allows you to see all these happenings in real time. We can see if we scroll down, this shows us blocks that are minted on the Cardano blockchain. We've got changes in delegation. We can see any type of native assets that have been sent in the blockchain. So really cool. I would really recommend that you check out pool.pm. In order to see any type of native tokens, we can go ahead and click on this plus button up at the top and click on this piggy bank. This is gonna show us all the tokens that are being sent back and forth on the Cardano blockchain. We can see our recent transaction just taking place here. We've got our Kaizen tokens that have been sent along. And what we can do, let's say for instance, if you wanted to see your specific wallet and see what type of tokens you have available, we can go ahead and click up at the top where it gives us the option to search and we can go ahead and paste in our public address. After you've pasted your public address, we can see it shows us the available ADA balance, as well as any tokens that we have available within this wallet. So it's a really cool way to be able to interact with the Cardano blockchain and see what type of assets that you have available within your wallet. It's a great tool also for being able to look at things like NFTs and non-fungible tokens. Would really recommend you check out pool.pm. So that is essentially the entire process of being able to send any type of native tokens on the Cardano blockchain. It's a very straightforward process. This is going to be very useful to you if you're going to be using things like non-fungible tokens. In the future, we're going to have DeFi projects that will have their own specific token for that protocol. So it's going to be very important to be able to know how to interact and engage with these tokens on Cardano. So I really do hope that you enjoyed this video and hopefully you found some value from it. If you did, please do consider liking and sharing this video. Let's try to help educate as many people as possible who are coming into the Cardano ecosystem. All right, everyone. Thank you all again so much for watching and I will see you all in the next video. Take care.